all right welcome back party people good afternoon today we have a box to open for g -Lay. all right let's jump into it Voila, a driver's side mirror. And as you can tell by the intro video, that's what happens when mirrors start slapping. Unit here may be salvageable, I'm not sure. There's definitely, the plastic is deformed where it hit. There is certainly some scratches on the windshield here. So just looking inside here, it looks like there's three bolts. Um, I'll have to remove these three grommets and uh, remove either the bolts or nuts that are holding the mirror on the harder part is going to be since this is a powered mirror with defroster it connects into the door panel so i'm going to have to take this door panel off the secret to taking this door panel off is these little cubbies here um there's one inside the door handle there i don't know if you can see it or not and there's one in the tray there there's one here on the side. I'm not sure if, if that's one behind the, the reflector or not. So those are some screws. And then also down here in the bottom, there's one there. And then there's in these indents here, there's also some screws as well. It's probably the typical panel. Uh, snaps that are holding the rest of it on so we're gonna get our tools we're gonna remove all these access panels and uh, remove the screws and see if we can get this door panel removed let's pop out some of these access panels i'm gonna start with the one here in the uh and there's one up here flippy little suckers one in the side the handle here as well. One on the side of the door here. That one uh, kind of conforms to the door handle on one end. So it's easier to come in and pop it from this side than it is to try to pry from that side to keep from scratching things up all right i think that's all of our access panels now we just need to remove all the screws all right i've got my driver and a seven millimeter socket and i'm going to start right up top here have a torx here we have one torx there and then i'll just go around and double check i didn't miss anything so let me get a torx bit have a t25 torx bit and i'm going to remove one screw here in the door handle there's one wow it looks like there's two different sizes Yep, we have two different size torque bits. So let me go get the next smallest. I think it's a T20. All right, so now I have a T20. And I'm gonna remove, remove the torque screw on the bottom pocket here. So just remember the small one goes on the bottom. All right, so I think what I should be able to do now is actually grab down here and start removing some of those uh, snaps. Not sure if there's one behind that reflector or not. 
I'm gonna get down there and see if I can look behind it. All right, as you may have guessed, after going down below and prying up the bottom and just looking under there, it looks like it's held on by something here as well. So I'm gonna pop this reflector off and see if there's a screw up under there. All right, so uh, the reflector Basically what you want to do to get the reflector out is actually just pull it out this way. Inside of there is another screw. And it looks like another seven millimeter screw. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna give a good tug on this. I'll give you a good look at the door panel. All right, so here's a good look at the door panel, especially if you're uh, if you're replacing speakers. And it'll show you exactly where all the, the little push pins are. And uh, also too, some of these foam things may fall off and they're there uh, for vibration purposes. So that one stayed on, that one stayed on, but this one fell off over here. So I'm just going to make sure I put that back on. It's got a little bit of stickiness to it. So yeah, so that's the door panel. All right, so here's a good look at the screw holes. It's the one for the door handle. This is the one that was up for the uh, cell phone holder. And the one that was up top. And the one for the reflector. And the screw, two screw holes that were at the bottom. And if you're curious about the speaker setup, that is the speaker that's in the door. And that is the wiring harness. And uh, all the regulator and the motor is behind some weather seal there. And we're going to have to take this one off, I think, to get to our harness for the mirror. The other thing I will say, too, is, is that this particular connector that was connected um to the uh to the actual door handle the way you actually remove this is just pull back on uh, the uh on this piece here you just release it like that so it's pretty easy to do but i had to kind of look at it to begin with because i've never messed around with it much but you can see that on the uh bottom side here it flexes this part flexes and it'll pop just out and the way it looks on the back of the door handle so as you can see it just sits in here and it clicks to these little two collars over here on the other side so that's all you need to do it's really easy to get that out all right let's um let's remove these grommets and see what we're dealing with back here with a an old-fashioned screwdriver That's your best bet. Just take a flathead screwdriver. Go right up under there. And you should be able to do it without scratching anything. Just kind of lift those up. And they just pop out. Just a little ridge there on the back of the grommet. Yeah, it looks like we've got nuts in there. All right, so I'm just gonna take this cable harness out and peel back our waterproof in there. It looks like we've got a cable bundle back in here. We can push out. So I think one of these is going to be our mirror. 
I'm hoping that's this small one. I have to go look at the other end of the cable here. Yeah, it looks like it's this one. So I'm just going to undo this one. All right, so that just pulls out. 10 millimeter maybe. And as you can see, inside here we have 10 millimeter nut on all three of these holes and a potential to drop the nuts down inside the door as others have mentioned. All right, I'm just gonna use some of this masking tape and just kind of cover the socket hole here and see if I can get it tight enough where the nut would stay positioned in there and not fall off. So, and hopefully when I punch it on there, it will uh, keep. So let's give it a test. Let's see what happens here. So you should be able to, you have to be careful, but you should be able to get it out. And it sticks in there pretty good. All right, so I've got to hold this mirror and unscrew and not lose the nut all at the same time. So I'm gonna have to kind of stand up here and give this a hold. And what's interesting is you got to watch your, uh, little guard there and, and here we are here's our rope mirror so the only thing I had to be careful about is I had these edges on the windows here and uh, it just kind of stick over those a little bit so just be careful maneuvering it around uh, in case you are wondering if these nuts are actually metal and are magnetized a small magnet they are magnetized so you could use a magnet in a socket i just don't have a magnet strong enough and small enough to fit down inside my socket but uh, if it was uh, this magnet was a little bit more powerful i'd feel comfortable with this magnet actually capturing this nut and not letting it fall on the inside of the door so the only thing to really look out for for me i had these uh, rain guards on the windows and it kind of overlapped the plastic there so i had to kind of bend that up a little bit um, just temporarily kind of move it up a bit to get the uh, the mirror off. It's just a matter of getting all of our bolt our nuts back in. Be careful not to uh, to drop them. So I'm using the little tape trick again. Just pressing the nut in there it stays pretty good. And uh, just gonna start it with my hand. I'm just going to hand tighten these. Alright, so now that we have our nuts tightened, 
I am going to reconnect the harness here and pop it back into this little place here. And we'll put our sticky back on. This is important. You don't want the moisture to get in behind. It's kind of a vapor water barrier. All right. Now I'm going to put my grommets back in and uh, we'll put the door panel back on. All right. So let's go get our door panel. I'm going to use the tape method on this one because it is, uh, it is recessed up in there and I'm going to try to get it right. Reflector back on. Just a few quick tests. All right, so all we have left is to uh, pop all these uh, protective caps on that I have up here. So let's do that. Do the door handle one first. Pull the door handle. All right, that one clipped in. how you replace a mirror and there's our old one all right that'll do it for this video give me a thumbs up if you like the content share the link with your friends click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel already and the notification bell just beside it you'll get notified of all the video uploads and until next time skill up and ride van up and go